Hey folks, and welcome back to Tales of Martial. So we'll be heading to Daikara this episode. Normally I would probably enter Dreadfall by now, but I do want to reach level 20. The reason why I'm not at level 20 yet is because I have uh, ignored a few other places. There are a whole lot of other places to visit, but I kind of want to show you, show you guys the... Um, should we call it the actual zones <laughs> that you can visit? Yeah, and we were just ambushed. Great. Well, that's what I get for talking while walking. I suppose. So, what did we get? Let's start off with infusion. Start hitting this guy. Yeah, he's still there. Can we target him? Okay, we can. And shield pummel is dead. Are there anyone else? No. Then let's rest for a bit. There's the second one. Now I would like to get in close with this guy. But I'm kind of afraid that there are some other enemies on the map and I don't want to encounter all of them at once. Okay, we're good for now. And that looks like it was all of them, thankfully. Did we get anything? That's not a bad light armor. But we'll keep the one we have for now. Okay, so let's head into Daikara and, as usual, try not to die. <laughs> also, this is a pretty good place to have some uh, lightning resistance. So we will be putting on the other armor that we have. As many of the enemies can throw lightning at you. Also, the boss of this area is actually a dragon. Also, you may want to be on the lookout for enemies that that walk through, right through the walls because there are a few of them not the most common enemies but there are usually a few on each map Didn't really expect to see a vampire here, but oh well. You will die just like the others. That's quite a few enemies. 
Also, the I think this is one of those guys that can walk through walls. Let's see if we can kill off the rare guy over here. Preferably kill him at a distance. Good. Also, if you're wondering what's knocking me back all the time, it's... Some giants can throw boulders at you. And they can be pretty dangerous. Okay, so let's try just a block, see if we can survive, survive long enough until we can get the arcane reconstruction ready. We are still regenerating. Maybe assault this guy and kill a few in the process. And leveling up, that's not a bad thing. It's never a bad thing, as you always get full health and full mana and full everything whenever you gain a level. Those giants, I would really like to kill him at least. Boulder thrower. Let's heal. Start shooting away some fireballs. Yeah, we should be fine now. Okay, I might be wrong. Let's run for a bit. Regenerate. Mana search. Yes, keep running. Keep regenerating. Okay, we should have lost a few of them, but I think some were still hunting me. No? Okay. There's a few. that all of them? I think there were more. Yeah, there's one more. A whole lot more. Well at, le well, at least we're in a corridor, so something good. Not all giants can attack us at once. There's 
one more dragon. There's another dragon. Okay, looks like we're fine. Did we get anything good? Nope. Okay. All oh, right, I didn't change my lights. Let's put this one on. Okay, let's get going. Swordbreaker. Ah, oh, it's just a dagger. Can't use that. So I think this is a vault. Yeah. We won't be opening this one in this episode. I want to clear out the area before we open it. A reason why is because that vault has killed me more times than I want to admit. It's not a bad ring. We'll take that. We didn't get anything better, so let's just continue. Escort a thief. Yeah, sure. Why not? Also, escorting on this in this zone can be rather troublesome just because of the giants that can throw boulders at you. Okay, so we're still he heading north. See no boulder throwers, so that's good. Ouch. <sighs> that's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, let's see if we can maybe... I think the thief is pretty... I think he's good as dead, unfortunately. Yeah. This guy is pretty strong. I think we can take him. No? <laughs> okay, we couldn't. Well then. Like I said in a previous episode, when I start dying, I start dying a lot. <laughs> well, let's try this again. Round two. Come on, round two. Okay. Let's see if we can get right up to him. Shield pummel. It's running away. Stop that. Thank you. I 
And as I'm sure you have noticed by now, the game does take a rather big leap in difficulty at one point. I guess it's more to correct to say that it takes a big leap in difficulty every now and then, not just at some points. Most of the time it actually feels feels kind of random, but well, some areas are simply harder than others, of course. But hopefully we'll at least be able to kill the master in this Let's Play series. He's kind of... Well, he's not the final boss, but he is the f he's actually the first boss in the main story quest. But it is one of the hardest boss fights that I've encountered so far. Was that everything? Yep. Did we get anything? This one isn't bad. But not that interesting. This one though. 940%. What is, what is mine on? 704. Yeah, we'll be replacing that one with this right away. If I'm not entirely mistaken, there are four levels to this area. And again, I'm stuck in a corner. Not good on this map. Let's heal. Keep regenerating. Okay, we have to kill that thing in the north, so it doesn't spawn any more units or enemies. You might have noticed by now. I do play a lot of strategy games, hence why I keep saying units instead of just enemies or giants or whatever. Why is he running away from me? I've never gotten this artifact before. Interesting. Cool. But useless. Yeah, thanks. So apparently my um, recording software decided to stop working again, <laughs> unfortunately. But don't worry, you didn't mi miss much. I lost about 30 seconds of footage, maybe. Anyway, uh, that will be the end of th this episode. So I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.